Good morning, YouTube, and today is oh, chicken day. We are going to pick up our chickens right now at the post office. I wanted to film it um, just for my own memory's sake so I can always remember this. I'm going to show you um, our setup quickly because I know a lot of you who um, are also going to be getting your first chickens wanted to see how I got my setup. Remember, everybody does it differently. I have read so many books and I've watched so many people here on YouTube. Um, so I have a video, uh, I'll leave it linked up above to my books and to the people I've been watching. And so um, I am doing, I'm doing a be the best combination of all of those things that I possibly can. I am also following the directions of McMurray Hatchery because that is where I am getting my baby chicks from. I will leave a link to uh, their website down below um, and they give very specific instructions of what to do. So I'm going to take you over to my brooder. I'll show you what I have set up for them. And, um, and then we'll go to the post office this morning and go pick them up. All right, let's go. Okay. So this is my brooder. It is, um, I believe four feet by three feet. I think this is the same brooder that they use at tractor supply for all of their chicks. Um, of course, if and when they grow out of this, I have another big tub over here where I can separate them out. So I do have that, but um, I went ahead and I went with the um, brooder heater and not the lamp because every book that I read said do not use a heat lamp because of a fire hazard. So I went ahead with this. I do have, now this was underneath there and it was reading 100 degrees. Um, so I did get a thermometer. This thermometer I picked up from Tractor Supply. Let's see if I can get this to focus. There we go. So it'll tell you on there um, what temperature they should be at for the first week, second, third, and fourth. Um, this was reading 100 when I had it under there, so the brooder is working nicely. I just have it off to the side now. My chicks, uh, it's very specific over here from McMurray Hatchery. Now my chicks have never um, eaten uh, or drinking yet. Uh, so unlike getting chicks from like the tractor supply, it's gonna be a little different for me. Okay, and then right here you'll see where it says litter. It says, of course, to use the wood shavings. I do have the pine shavings. Uh, it says, do not use the cedar. But you'll see where it says, it says, keep it covered for the first day with newspapers to keep the chicks from eating the litter instead of the feed. To avoid possible leg problems, remove the papers after the first day for heavy breeds and meat birds and after the third day for lighter breeds. So um, I know I got several comments about the newspaper and not to use it, but I am specifically following McMurray Hatchery's instructions on this. So if you can see under here, I have a nice thick layer of um, shavings under there. Well, not too thick, um, but it's a nice layer. And so right now I have it covered with the newspaper just until my chickies um, know how to eat. Um, Patera said, <laughs> Patera from Appalachian Homestead said, go ahead and sprinkle some cornmeal on top. So that's what I did. I also have some chick grit uh, mixed in or sprinkled on top of their feed. Um, once they get the hang of eating, I will put a separate bowl here just with the chick grit for them. One of the waterers will have a uh, clear uh, water in it and one will have medicated water with electrolytes so um, I will have both of those for them and so yeah so this is it there's their feet there's their grit I have a ton of supplies in here for them and goodies and some fun little toys and stuff for them to um, peck at once they're established. I also have an emergency medical kit here for them, along with some medical sprays. So we are set to go. All right, let's get in the truck and let's go get our babies.
everybody is settling in and everybody is eating and drinking and pooping. I've got two that I know of that have a little pasty butt, so I'm going to go and uh, take care of that right now. They are looking very good, very happy. They're so tiny. They're smaller than Nina's hands. <laughs> I know. And Getty, Getty loves them. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, I'm so happy. Anyway, all right, I'm probably gonna end this video here, but I just wanted to share with you guys because I know so many of you have been <laughs> excited for me. <laughs> They're so cute. So I'm gonna get a couple little stones for the water, even though these waterers don't let very much water in at all. It's very, very shallow. Um, I do have electrolytes in them, and I do have um, some apple cider vinegar, some organic, some organic apple cider vinegar. Um, their baby feed does have baby grit in it, little chick grit, along with um, some cornmeal, thanks to Patera and her recommendation of doing that. So, um, so the papers will be removed as soon as I know that they're all eating and drinking good and they're not going to eat their um, bedding. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for hanging out with me and going to pick up my first chickens with me. So happy. All right. Um, I guess before I end, I'll tell you what I have. Now, I don't know. Um, I have to go look and see what the chicks are supposed to look like, because off, offhand, I don't know which is which. But I do have two female uh, black cochins, two female silver, silver laced cochins, uh, seven female Americanas, three female light Brahmas, uh, one straight run partridge cochin, one male Americana, one male buff Brahma, and I did get a straight run free surprise chick, so I don't know if that is going to be a rooster or um, a hen. Uh, yes, that's what I got. Basically cochins, Brahmas, and Americanas, and all should do really well here in northern lower Michigan. So. <laughs> Alright guys, I will be seeing you soon.